Hello again, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're all well. Okay, so Jolly's in American Truck Simulator, and um, I've already got this truck. So I did a series on this ages ago, well, last year, and um, yeah, it kind of died off a little bit. So this is my Freightliner, and um, yeah, and my trailer as well. So let's quickly jump inside and have a look. So yeah, as you can see, um, I did it up and I absolutely love this thing. So reason why I'm playing this, oh yeah, and also it's got a fantastic sounding engine as well. So this is the um, Freightliner FLB. So let me just um, quickly show you it. So obviously this is a mod, um, but it's absolutely excellent. It really, really is. And this one is actually on the Steam Workshop. So, um, yeah, definitely worth uh, getting. Anyway, so I've been asked to do this a few times now, play this series. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. I'm going to play it manual um, and break off and away we go. So I have selected a job. Um, hopefully it comes up on the thing in a second. We're in um, Seattle at the moment. But we're heading up to Canada, straight up on the curb and off to an absolutely fantastic start. Well done, Jolly. Yeah, so if you're new to the channel, <laughs> believe it or not, I used to be a lorry driver. But yes, already struggling, aren't I? Right, let's swing it over there a little bit more. I could just go out. Let's just go out this side, make it easy for myself. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I was just trying to get everything set up so the controls were all um, familiar. But yeah, I do really, really like ATS, but unfortunately my series just died off. Because, uh, yeah, not enough people liked Jolly back then. So I've got the um, Pro Mods, of course, and I've also got all the Jazzy Cat um, traffic packs. Well, I think all of them. And they do seem to be working, because while I was setting it up, I did see a few motorbikes. Okay, scrapyard. Yeah, I saw a few motorbikes, and that's not standard, is it? Perfect. Yeah, so I hope you're all well. hope you're all having a good one. Yeah, so we've got a job. I think we've got about seven hours until it expires. I haven't got all the DLC either, so I will say that. Um, let me quickly show you the map um, that I've got. So, yeah. I've got some of the DLC, but definitely not all of it. But yeah, if the series is um, popular, then I will try and uh, get all of it. But obviously not earning much money on YouTube at the moment, so got to be a little bit tight and yeah as you can see I've put 27,000 miles on this truck so I'm gonna put like season two but um you haven't really missed out on anything <laughs> so don't feel like you've got to catch up Turn left. okay what well, up here sky so we've got American sky now okay Yeah, this all feels so different. Right, why does it say stop? I'm not going to stop. Yeah, I didn't want to um, start a new series on this, so and like go back to having nothing. Because um, I love this truck so much. Okay, I'm so confused. Right. Uh, I think we'll be all right. Not a great place to be stopping, is it? Especially because that just made some noise. Right, let's quickly um, pick this up. Um, yep, so empty bottles up to Surrey. Perfect. Okay, and we're going over here somewhere. Okay. Right, that train must have um, actually stopped for us. That's a really bad place for the um, marker to be, isn't it? 
Right, so obviously these trailers are a little bit longer than the trailers I've been used to driving. And the trailers that I drove in real life as well. So let's see whether I cop this up. Okay, and I've just remembered that um, my head tracking, my free head tracking, is actually set up for um, Flight Simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So what I'll do, I'll load this up, pop you on pause, quickly sort that out, back in a second. Okay, so that should all be sorted now. Thank you, Sky. Yeah, so if you're new to the channel, I use Open Track um, for face tracking, and it's free. And I highly recommend it. I've got a video um, somewhere about all my settings. And um, other people have used it and had really good experience with it. So it does take a lot of setting up. But if you use my settings, that will certainly get you near to um, perfection, really. Right, what's going on here then? Am I allowed to drive up this side? I think I am. So, in the UK, being able to be this close to a train track, impossible. <laughs> it's all, like, very, very sectioned off. Right. Okay, let's find a new route. We've got some excellent lights on this truck as well, so I will, like, properly show the truck as we're going, but night driving on this is incredible in my opinion right um so if there's nothing no it looks like we can't do that anyway right we're going in the wrong gear jolly and we need to go over there yeah so comparing this and ets i do think that um the map is a lot better on ATS. Um, probably because it's newer. But obviously Europe is a lot more familiar to me. Okay, I think I'm going to have to adjust the seat as well. And it's weird going from my Merc to um, this again. But my goodness, the steering feels good on ATS. Like, really heavy and everything is, is perfect. I remember the difference when I went from one to the other for the first time. And it was, uh, yeah, quite spectacular. Okay. So, three hours away, so we should easily get this delivery done in this episode. Yeah, so I don't know whether I'm going to be doing a series on this. It really does depend how popular it is. Right, we've got damage on our truck somehow. Yeah, so it's the 29th of December that I last played this. That was when I was recording, well, the last episode of Series 1. It just, it got so few views, I just thought, yeah, know when to quit. Oh, of course, yeah, we can go quite a lot faster, can't we? So 65 the max, I just don't know. Barely see the lines. Okay. No worries. Yeah, I absolutely love this truck though. Obviously it's mod heavy. Got a lot of stuff. Oh no. Okay. 
Come on, mate, what are you doing? Oh, he buggered me up, didn't he? That was nothing to do with Jolly being a terrible driver. Yeah, I'm going to move my seat back a little bit. This is uh, a little bit close. Finding a new route. Right, there's a motorbike. Turn left. And another. Brown Vic in front of us. Yeah, this is what I mean. So I said about that on ETS. Obviously, there's no way of Jazzy Cat being able to make them look like they're standing with the bike. This is just not in the game. So in traffic, they're just perched perfectly upright. I was going to let him go, but it's difficult on this game. In real life, I would have done. Turn right. Okay. Right, let's quickly fix a seat. And I'll leave this in. Uh, so, put a little bit more field of view. Yeah, why was it sitting so close? I just don't know. Um, That should do us. That'll do us for now. Yeah, I love this thing. I really, really do. We've got LEDs all over it. And obviously the um, the trader, it was only a few quid, but that went to um, breast cancer awareness. Yeah, I like it. So someone did ask um, how to get that skin pack for free. <laughs> Which is a bit cheeky. So yeah, you can't. You can't get it for free. There's like a couple of quid and proceeds go to charity, so yeah, worth doing. Right, away we go. Yeah, it's weird to be back in this game. Keep left and then turn left. Okay. Yeah, so obviously the trailers, you can get ridiculously long trailers on this. Um, so if you're only used to ETS, um, it is definitely very different. But yeah, Pro Mods doesn't add as much to ATS as it does to Europe. There are some other um, map mods that you can get, but I can't even remember what DLC I bought for this. I think I've, I think I'm three or four short. I think it's three. And obviously, map mods. A lot of them need all the DLC. Okay, we can bypass it. Perfect. Right, I've just thought I need to download a sound pack as well, because otherwise I think all the motorbikes sound the same. Um, what gear are you in? Why isn't it going into... Oh, problems. Oh. can't get into gear. Right, let's go off here for a second and sort this out. 
Can't even use the engine brake now, can I? I'll find a new route. Thank you. Right, so let's just um pull over here for a second. And I'll try and fix this. Yeah, this isn't um roleplay, genuinely. And then it's gone in straight away. Typical. So I don't know what that is. I don't know whether that's where we we're a little bit damaged. But yeah, genuinely that wasn't roleplay. Right, and we're going over here now. Yeah, I didn't hear the um, range left. splitter disconnect. Yeah, the little Windows notification, so I don't know what happened. Okay, not too much of a detour anyway, we should be all right. Keep left and then turn left. One of them Greyhound bus things. Okay. Yeah, so the steering wheel, I really like it, but I just wish that the skulls on the right hand side of it were the right way up. And yeah, I think that's the mod that I use, SCI, but that's on the Steam Workshop as well. So what I did was I deleted all of the mods from my mod folder, um, because it's been so long. Deleted all of them, and then I just installed Pro Mods again and Jazzy Cat. But the rest of it is just the same as um, yeah, in the last series. So what time is it? Um, almost three o'clock. Yeah, so night driving in this is excellent. And let's just have a quick... Oh, that... Yeah, I need to change a few more of the settings as well, the controls. Um, will that work? Yes. Well, I think it looks excellent. Typical. Right. right, stop messing around, Johnny. Back over here. Right, we're at 18 minutes. Right. Yes, yeah, so that was quite a detour, wasn't it? Sorry about it, everyone. Go Genuinely, it just stopped working. And that was in all the gears, not just one of them. Turn left. Okay. You let me go. Cheers, mate. Right. Let's try that again, shall we? Turn left. <laughs> I know it's childish, but I just can't help it. Oh, I need to stop skipping gears. Yeah, my Mercedes that I'm driving on my other series has got um, a little bit more horsepower. And obviously the gearbox is going to be a little bit different as well. The ratios. So it's very easy to drive. There we go. Right. No more problems. Yeah, so I'm driving on a G29, um, the kind of PlayStation version. I've got a 6 plus R Chinese H shifter, because I hate 
the Logitech one. So I sent it back because it broke. And perfect. And I've got a um, cheap range splitter as well, um, which was, I think, 40 quid. But yeah, I really like it, and I haven't got a sim rig or anything, so the G29 is bolted to my desk. The H shifter is really dodgily fixed to my office chair, which is a really stupid setup, but it works. And yeah, and then face tracking. And it improves the game so much, and all you need is a web camera, so yeah, please do consider giving it a try. I can't afford the really expensive um, track IR or the other one, or the other two. Can't afford them, so this kind of thing for me is perfect. It works in all sorts of games as well. But yeah, flight simulators and this, I think that's what it's built for. Farming simulator, it does work, but it's a little bit annoying in farming simulator, I've got to admit. Not as annoying as these bottom mirrors, though, and that little bracket. Like, you'd just change it, wouldn't you? You'd fix it. It wouldn't take much. Oh, a little bit of a frame rate drop then. Yeah, so with the um, Jazzy Cat mods, that should add real companies as well, but I don't know, um, yeah, that many American companies, so I don't know whether it's accurate. Something else that I really like about ATS are the truck stops. They're so much better. What are you doing out there, mate? Yeah, so much better than Europe. Right, we're going for it. Um, and obviously, yeah, we're running 1.48, so I don't know whether we've got ABS on. And I also don't know if we've got um, adaptive cruise control turned on. So, obviously, this wouldn't have adaptive cruise control. And it wouldn't have ABS, actually. So, next time I stop, I'll make sure that they're both disengaged. But yeah, very customisable, this truck. And it's probably had a few updates. I think this is made by Harven, this mod. But yeah, as I said, it's in the Steam Workshop. We are going to need fuel at some point. Keep right, and then exit right. Okay. No worries. I can't remember whether it's up or down on the engine brake. Let's try down. Okay. Right, so I do need to look out for fuel. Is that fuel over there? Have they got fuel? Please, please. No, it doesn't look like it. Are we going over here then? Yeah. But I'll just completely cut across then. 
Oh, right, so we're at the border, I presume. Okay. Will do. So more parking over there. Perfect. Yes. So coming into Canada. Good. Okay. Knock it out of gear. Surprised he saw me. In my camo. Right, should we try gear? Should we try taking the handbrake off? Cheers, mate. I appreciate it. Right, mirror check. DeLorean is why not. Oh, you waiting for me? Cheers, mate. Right. Well, we'll try and keep up with him to 88. Bypass the way station, perfect. We have got low as well. There he goes, like a rocket ship. Go straight on. Right, so there's a petrol station coming up. So let's pop in here quickly. Okay. Nice. And I think this has got a massive tank, if I remember right. Well, two. Yeah, look at that tiny little trailer there. Right. Oh, not that big a tank then. But yeah, I do recommend this truck. Even if you only have a, yeah, couple of goes in it. It's a good one. Right, we can get out here. Yeah. Okay, straight out. I, I don't know, so I'm going. Turn right. right, so we're in Canada. Revving the crap out of it as well, because it just sounds so good. Okay, so 36 miles away. Okay. Go, mate. Get past the slow moving. Closer motorbike. Yeah, so when I first um, got this, I found it really weird driving um, driving lorries where the we the steering wheels aren't right underneath your seat, kind of thing. I found that really, really odd. But, um, yeah, if this series is popular, we'll try and get a um, modern American truck. I got used to it, but it just felt really odd to start with. Nice seeing the motorbikes again. I have to try and get it working again in ETS motorbikes. I do like seeing them. Motorbikes used to really scare me in the lorry because obviously they just come like 90 miles an hour 
or more come flying up and then all of a sudden you just notice this little tiny object in the mirror that's doing ridiculous speeds uh, like I know they're not cool but I think motorbike riders should wear high vis or at least not just wear all black and always drive with your lights on always because obviously lorry drivers are always checking our mirrors I'm trying not to so much because the camera does seem a little bit jolty yeah it does seem a little bit jolty so it's not perfect this open track but it is really really good most of the time but yeah lorry drivers are always checking their mirrors and if you just see a little light or something then you focus on it Keep right, and then turn. it's much easier to see but obviously lots of car drivers once they've passed their test they forget what the mirrors are for so yeah if you've got a motorbike just have your lights on all the time I mean I do it in all vehicles so yeah I always drive my headlights on and I don't find that I'm constantly like changing bulbs and it's just that extra bit of added security in that yeah this is a really really nice truck uh, oh, I can't go around anymore Right, here we go. We're still going. Oh, I need to hear though. Here it comes. I think I got the long freight train mod as well. So, yeah, this will go on for a bit. And we've got another engine as well pushing in the middle. Because obviously, yeah, this isn't very fun to watch, but in real life, trains can be ultra, ultra long. So I've worked on, like, uh, trackside before. And, um, my goodness... Like, sometimes you have to put your tools down when a train's going past. So, like, chainsaw. And, yeah, especially when they're going slow, you can just be stuck there, unable to do anything for so long. Right, well, you've seen enough of this, so I'm going to pop you on pause and I'll... Okay. Ignore me. Let's just get going, shall we? So we're three minutes away. And on ATS, you've got to wait until the barriers are fully up before you start driving, because otherwise there's an invisible barrier on some of them, and you just come to a awful stop. Right. Here we go. So we're delivering in here. I'm not going to worry about putting my hazard lights on, because I don't like the noise it makes. I think... I think I've got beacons on this, but I can't really remember... It's been so long. Okay. Right, back we go. My lovely trailer. Mess this up. It's alright, there's nothing now. The bay next to us, so we'll be alright. Okay, and then let's straighten this up. We do so we can work with that. Okay. Right, let's get this um, all done. It's a shame that it didn't get dark. I wanted to show the uh, show the lights.
Nice. Okay, so that does bring us to the end of this one. So thanks for watching, everyone. I do really appreciate each and every view. And if you've liked this, please feel free to join me in the next one. So cheers, everyone, and bye for now.